celebrating 50 years of the establishment of what was originally the Centre for Mass Communication Research, which um, was established in 1966, and then it has subsequently become the Department of Media and Communication. Leicester was the first British institution to offer a master's degree in mass communication, as it was called then, and that degree exists in a similar form today, but of course since that time we've developed other variants of that program and, and tried to reflect the changing nature of the field and the different interests that have grown up around uh, the study of the media broadly. We also have uh, a very widely expanded staff. In 1966 I think there were probably three full-time academic members of staff and now there are approaching 40 in the department. So we've expanded significantly and we are a very international staff. We have people from all over the world who come first of all to study with us but also people who are interested in joining us and conducting research on a range of different media topics. And indeed this year we are hosting the International Association for Media and Communication Research Conference which is a, one of the, the major international conferences in this field. I'm a first year PhD student here at the Department of Media and Communication. I am currently working on immigration policy debates in the media and how it affects um, political change. What I really like about Leicester is the support we get from the staff, not just our supervisors but everyone else. We can talk to everyone. We are encouraged to be part of one of three media research clusters which collaborate with the staff and the students. Um, it's a very interactive um, approach to research. We can exchange ideas. Um, quite often you find yourself working into, walking into a meeting and coming out with fresh ideas that help you um, in your own research.